Hi, and welcome to Catherine Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today is Wednesday, which can only mean one thing. I got my pull box. So, these are all the comics that I've picked up for this new week in comics. So, let's jump right on into it, shall we? First off, with Marvel, I got Deadpool the Duck, issue 5. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think it says it all. I love the cover, by the way. Second is Guardians of the Galaxy, issue 18. Not gonna lie, I was not planning on picking up this comic. But Angela! She's on the frickin' cover! Okay, um... If I read this and I find out that she was in the previous issue, I, I might go and track those down. Because, uh... Angela's my girl. I thought Starfire was. Starfire is my DC girl. Angela is my Marvel girl. However, Angela was originally uh, Image Comics. Okay, keep going. Yeah, if they could both be in the same comic together, that, that would be perfect. Yes. I'm sure there's fan fiction somewhere on all of it. If there's not, there should be. Get on that. <laughs> But <laughs> next, uh, I've got a bunch of DCs. So let's jump it. Let's jump on into it. First is Trinity issue seven. Love the variant cover there. Next, we have Titans issue nine. Yeah. Next is All Star Batman issue eight. I love this cover, by the way. That looks Isn't that awesome? Kinda... Demented. Right, hold, hold it up again. It's like the nightmare from uh... <laughs> Alice in Wonderland, almost. It's Hatter. Yeah. But only if you took a bad trip of acid. Probably. Yeah. So next is Nightwing, issue 17. This is a very strong run for Nightwing right now. Next is Aquaman, issue 19. Next I have Batman, issue 19. This is the continuation of the I Am Bane storyline. Also, if you weren't aware, Bane is getting his own book soon, so look out for that. Next is Justice League, issue 17. Justice League is a little disappointing right now, but... You know, if you're not liking Justice League, maybe pick up Justice League America of America or Trinity. Both really great options if you're looking for a team like that. Next is Superman, issue 19. So this is a continuation of the Superman Reborn storyline. John's still missing. Of course, we all know that Mr. Mixelplick has him. Next is Green Arrow, issue 19. Yes, this is a variant cover, and yes, I picked the variant cover up over the main cover because it featured Arsenal on it. Roy Harper. Fantasticness. But is that a different word? It is in my dictionary. <laughs> I'm running on a lot of caffeine right now. <laughs> So next from DC's Young Animal Imprint is Cave Carson Has a Cybernetic Eye, issue 6. If you are looking for just crazy psychedelic colors and sci-fi adventures and just awesomeness, this is the book for you. All around great book. Next is Harley Quinn, issue 16. So... I love this cover. A big reason why I'm in love with this cover is it features Atlee on it, which if you don't know who Atlee is, Amanda Connor character, she's Terra 3, I believe. Um, a whole story there. But she's fantastic. She she's teamed up with Power Girl several times. She had her own mini series. She's teamed up with Supergirl. She was a huge fixture in Starfire's book, and now 
she is in Harley's book. Basically, Amanda Connor likes to use the same characters over and over again. I'm still a little pissed that Starfire and Harley Quinn aren't going to be best friends, but, you know, whatever. It never happened. So, next, of course, I had to pick up the chill variant. Come on now. But, awesome cover. Next is Super Sons, issue two. I actually really like the main cover, so. Got the main cover. Next is Batwoman, issue one. I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm just really happy that Kate Kane has her own book again. Next is Wild Storm, issue two. And yes, this is the Jim Lee variant cover. I am a little but hurt at the fact that this is actually a cover swipe of a Justin Bieber ad campaign, but we're all just gonna forget that and be excited because it's Grifter. <laughs> Wait, Justin Bieber's allowed to have weapons? <sighs> okay. I'm Justin just... Bieber's. Ugh. I just didn't know yeah. he passed the safety test for it. Yeah. And so. there, we, there goes five <laughs> subscribers. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, next, for, let's jump right on into the indies, shall we? Next from Dynamite is Vampirella, issue one. Yeah. Love the Campbell cover. Yeah, that looks really cool. Right? This this is what you expect from Vampirella. Hopefully this issue actually has Vampirella in it, and it's not this whole Vampirella is dreaming, Vampirella is seeing. I, I, I didn't like the Zero issue. You should hold that back up again now. That's what I look like when I'm in a dark room. <laughs> you look like a hot chick. Hey. It's dark in there. You Anything look like a hot, barely, barely clothed woman. How do you think we got together? I mean, seriously. Yeah. Think yeah, about that's, it. That's exactly what he looked like when I met him, folks. Yeah. <laughs> all, all 40 pounds lighter. And if you want to know what he was wearing, <laughs> you should look at the cover of Red Sonia issue three. <laughs> the Campbell cover. Oh, uh, but warm Red days. Sonia is such a good read right now. If you're not reading Red <laughs> Sonia, you need to be. Yeah, it is a very good cover, and it is also a very great comic. Next from Albatross is Spook House, issue three. I don't care who makes fun of me for it. I love these. They're so much fun. And I can actually read these to my nieces without giving them nightmares. Which... She also reads them to me, and I still get nightmares. Yeah, I got a talking to after I read a comic to my niece because they said it was inappropriate. Yeah. 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 Animosity apparently is too scary for a small child. <laughs> the imagery isn't that bad. Well, the very, the very small opening to it yeah. of The Awakening talking about animals killing people, apparently that's too much for a child. <laughs> Yes, and we've handle. all watched Disney I, I got a talking to about that. <laughs> so next from Boom Studios is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 13. If you are at all a fan of the OG Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and you are not the least bit impressed with what you're seeing so far for the new film, this is the comic for you because they actually respect the old show. Yes, it was campy as shit, but that's what made it awesome. So, next is Rockstars, issue four. So, Rockstars is a very strange and very elusive story. It's very eerie, and throughout you have no idea what's going on, but you get little bit, little snippets of information throughout, and the art's really beautiful. A lot of, a lot of references in there as well. So next is God Country issue three. I'm loving God Country. If you're not reading it yet, check it out. Fantastic book, 
and I believe he's going to be meeting the villain in this issue. I haven't read it yet, but I loved the first two issues, so pretty high hopes for this one. And last, but certainly not least, this is probably my most anticipated comic of this entire week, maybe of the entire month, to be honest, and that is because it has been on a freaking hiatus for a couple of months now. now. I'm not sure if you can tell, but she's getting really angry <laughs> in the seat now. I love this comic so much. So this is I Hate Fairyland from Scotty Young. And this is his Fuck Fairyland variant cover. I have all of his Fuck Fairyland variant covers. I love this so much. Gertrude is my spirit animal. I love her. If I, if I was running around Fairyland, I probably wouldn't have the balls to kill almost everyone and eat the living candy there. But she's so much fun. <laughs> I love her so much. And instead of cursing, she says stuff like, what the fluff? And she's constantly threatening people. And there's cartoon violence in here. So check it out. If you're not already, the first two trades are already out. And this is the start of a brand new story arc. So read it. All right. So that was my pull box for this new week in comics. Um, give me a like if you like this video. Comment below and tell me which of these books you would like for us to review whether or not you picked up any of these, if you're excited about any of these comics, subscribe to my channel for more comic book content, or check out any of my older videos I have up for offer here on Cat Run Figures. And until next time, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.